Greetings, hello, and so on. We have some great Ace Attorney Chronicles to play. Uh, unfortunately, though it was fine a mere few days ago, my chair is now completely, like, completely broken. <laughs> uh, shifting my weight even a little bit causes it to uh, nearly fall apart. Um, it, it may actually break live on stream, dumping me on the floor, uh, in which case I guess I'll have to stop the stream until I get a new chair. <laughs> but let's hope it doesn't happen. <clears throat> so we finished case number one, episode one. Uh, the, the culprit basically admitted to it, admitted to murder, but then uh, they're not going to be punished because they're going to go to British court or some other court in order to uh, in, in order to actually be tried. Because it was my trial, not her trial. Uh, so I think that's that's kind of the first time we've seen that in Phoenix, right? I think. To go, hey, like you definitely did it, but, you know, politics. <laughs> and now we have the Unbreakable Speckled Band is the next case. The adventure. The band is going to go on an adventure. Maybe it's not like a band band, but like a in musical band. In the corner of that small, dark room, Sholmes and I waited with bated breath. In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Sus. Suddenly, Sholmes sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson, he yelled his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter, and the room slowly came into view. I do a way better British accent Jones than this guy. was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words, the speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which you referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs oh, wait. as it threatened to strike. Is this an actual Sherlock Holmes story, now that I think about it? Band I had ever seen. I have very, very little experience actually reading Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I know of the... I read the... Uh, an abridged version of the the red-headed gentleman so, let us case. Let this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. <gasps> so the victim was a Russian man then. And the letters are well formed, suggesting he was compass mentis at the time. Akeruna. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. Truth bullets? Uh, even better than truth bullets? Chemistry bullets? This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> this is scan for ghosts? Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Hi, uh, hi Zangief. No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait. Shh. That won't be necessary. You see... In less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. What? <gasps> D don't be absurd. This is murder. I need cabin locked from inside. Ah, yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? Hmm. Who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> I presume you must have heard of me. Uh, 
Ooh, I wonder if he's going to be the prosecutor. Like, he, he solved the mystery and found the culprit. And it's going to be like, you know, oh, but I maybe he didn't do it. Maybe despite all of this evidence, uh, he didn't actually do it. <laughs> so we, we get to we get to play the part of the person who is questioning the detective, the detective's uh, reasoning. Ugh, my head is throbbing. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air. Wait, I... I can't move! <gasps> Ag! What the... Why am I in handcuffs? Hmm. So, you wake up now, hmm? Oh, no. Oh, so you wake up now, hmm? We have to drag you out of wardrobe. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You are a true cold-blooded man. You. Ha. <sighs> You found me, then. Duh. We found you. Now you pay. Criminal. How long are you hiding in that tiny wardrobe, hmm? Ugh. Sorry. Now you have been found, it's time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold ocean is, hmm? No, no, I'll tell you everything. There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Isn't that a British accent? No, it was her. <laughs> oh for 2. Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? M Miss Susato. Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Um where? Where is he? Where's Kazuma? Ha! You pretend you do not know. You are a wolf in the sheep's pelt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. What? <laughs> Kazuma-sama was... Kazuma-sama's body was discovered not long ago. Here, in this very cabin, that was bolted shut from the inside. His... his body? Please, do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? But he can't be. He was such an interesting mentor character. He couldn't have died for the second case. And these handcuffs, surely you don't think I... Have to know why did you take Kazuma Sama's life? Answer me, please. Well, I mean, since you ask nice, I guess I'll tell you. No, Kazuma, it was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you come with England to me to study? It was really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier, though. The way that Russian crewman just tossed your traveling case onto the floor. I thought I was going to die. Yes, I still can't quite believe that. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. You must be even less of a man than you look. How dare you! I'll kill you for that, I say! Kill you! Mwahaha! Honestly, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Well, it's about 50 day. F what? Is that accurate? Did it take 50 days to sail from Japan to Great Britain? Hmm. But if you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. Ugh, oh, I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very st forgiving of a stowaway. They're a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant Miko Mikotobo, you mean. From your close friend, more to the point. Sure, we, we could confide in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. 
No, but if she knew what we'd done, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about this, and that I write in my journal that I suspect you are going to kill me. Hmm, I suppose so. Anyway, it's about time that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramped, but you better get in there, I think. It won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Yes, but what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. I tell you what, why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? What? I don't know how to write Japanese. Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors once you're inside. I don't know. We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have happened? We were supposed to be going on this adventure to England together. We leave you at next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Murderer. No! I'm not a murderer. Duh, you said before. You said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away on this ship, but murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. Um, Susato-san? Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask of you, too. Ugh, oh, those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find out what really happened. Or... Or... Kill everyone on the ship. Problem solved. A lot easier, too, than pro proving your innocence. He really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. And these handcuffs. They think I did it? They think I'm Cosmos' killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. It's the sort of thing that a killer would do if they were extremely stupid and wanted very badly to be caught. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin via a porthole window, and the bolt on the door can't be operated from outside. In other words, after the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped these four walls. What? Or to put it another way, the culprit can only have been somebody inside this cabin. Or do you have some other explanation? Yeah, I got a, I got a billion. You ever read any murder mystery? This is impossible. How did he die then? What happened exactly? Are you still going to deny the charge, even despite the circumstances? Please, Susato-san, you have to tell me. The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how he died? The ship's doctor is examining the body, but of course, he has no post-mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we shall learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. So presumably that means there were no obvious external signs of injury then? That's true, yes. Can't anyone tell me what actually happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please. Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Yes, well, I was, but... Dots. He would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin as I have every day so far on this voyage, but this morning he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. Does that mean he was already dead when Susato-san arrived at his cabin door, I wonder? I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The crewman forced the door cabin door open, and when we managed to get inside... There was Kazuma-sama, collapsed on the floor. And the white tape there now shows exactly where he was found, I suppose. I'm trying to remember where I where I read 
and so I don't know that it's true. But I've read that the, the whole chalk outline or white tape to show the outline of a body, totally not something that's ever been done <laughs> in any police investigations. It, it's just a total Hollywood invention. Because it's nice and visual, like a, a, a creepy way of showing, like, there was a person right here without without showing them. You know, you take them away, but the, the body, the outline of the body is still there. I have no idea anything had happened. I, I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. I wish it wasn't the case, but that's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me too, trust me. Now I've told you everything that I know, so it's my turn to ask you a question. Yes, all right. Ah, oh, my head feels so heavy, it's still throbbing like anything. <clears throat> Why are you even on board this ship, Naruhodo-san? You said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could you have occupied Kazuma-sama's cabin for so long without him noticing? No, 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 that would have been impossible, obviously. Yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. I don't understand. Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why, to go, why go to such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England with you? It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I, that you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that, but I didn't think you were serious. You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I've never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is at the spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways, especially spelling. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can there? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, if you were to become a lawyer, then Then what? Nothing. Forget it. I'll tell you in 16 days. <laughs> Kazuma-sama is... He was always saying the same thing. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yes, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes, then, it was darker than I've ever seen it before. Um, Susado-san, I'm sorry that we kept it a secret from you. My stowing away on this ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma-sama, I expect he was trying to protect me, to avoid me becoming guilty by association. That's, that's exactly right, yes. World, word perfect, in fact. If you're not the culprit, then tell me, what happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is, I don't really remember. Cosmo brought me something to eat, just like he always did. And then I got myself into that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that, I fell asleep? Um, well, yes. So deeply that you didn't even stir when Kazuma Sama was killed? Um, well, yes. <laughs> I know it sounds unbelievable. Really, I do. But it's the truth. If only I'd woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Um, is something wrong? Oh, um, no. It's... Please, forget it. So, Sarasan, you have to believe me. I didn't do it. I, I really don't want to doubt you. 
but the trouble is, there is no one else who could possibly have done this. Ugh. Kazuma, I don't understand. Why? Why did this have to happen? Arg! I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm sorry. But Cosmo was killed right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around, my hands tied, while whoever did this walks free? No, I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how and why they did it. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Is this where she's like, judo chop? It was exactly where she goes, judo chop. <laughs> what the? That was a Susado takedown. Uh, a Susado what? What martial art form is that? I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry? Prove it. Yes. Your innocence. I need evidence. How am I supposed to... Have you forgotten already? What you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in a court of law. Ah, I see. <gasps> now that the wall scroll's been turned upside down, I can see that it actually says... Innocent. Well, there you go. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get Susaro-san to believe me. I'll show her some evidence right now that proves I'm not guilty of this awful crime. Well, we got a pin. Still. Paper seal. Kazuma would stick this over the doors of the wardrobe for me. It says keep out in Japanese, though I'm not sure the Russian crew can actually read it. You can see the remnants of the glue we used to stick this over the wardrobe doors, although it wasn't proper glue, of course. We didn't have any of that with us, so I pulverized some rice into a paste to use instead. But to a stowaway like me, every single grain of rice represents precious rations. That's why I spread it as thinly as I possibly could. I couldn't bear to waste any. This is the paper seal I wrote for the wardrobe. I remember working really hard to make it. But I'll never forget how Cosmo reacted. Do you expect the Russian crew to be able to read that, he said? Still, I was sure people would get the idea, even if they couldn't read it, so we used it anyway. And it worked. I don't know if the crew thought it was creepy or what, but no one opened the doors. Where's people, huh? I don't have any people. I don't have any people. Well, this is the evidence, because if it's stuck on the door while I was inside, then I yes. could, like, this, this should completely absolve me, right? Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? Oh, yes it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Cosmo always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there just in case the cabin steward or another crew member decided to look inside. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah! Yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But if I were truly the culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors of, on my own. Ah, but you could have used a ridiculous contraption to do so. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. Not, not if you poisoned him. Not if you uh, shot him with an automatic gun from inside the wardrobe. Well, even if you are hopelessly sprawled on the floor, I can see why Kazuma-sama thought so highly of you. Thank you, Susato-san. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me up? She's like, not until you do this upside-down Sudoku puzzle. I'm like, but it looks right-side up to me. Well, in light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here, at least. Thank you. So you finally believe me? 
she did not say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you used some sort of conjuring trick to put the sign back in position. What does she think I am? A magician? For now, I suggest you investigate as thor thoroughly as possible in here. I'll do the same. Alright, let's get to work, Susato-san. Please, don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. I shall be watching you to make sure you do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Right. It looks like the Russian might have been drawn with a, with like, with a stencil. Because they even remarked on how, oh, the, the lettering is, is written so well, it must be someone who's, you know, extremely familiar with writing Russian or something like that. But it looks like there's a tiny little out, outline as though someone put down a stencil and filled it in with ink. Well, anyway, I should make a start on investigating in here. Examine everything I can. Cosma, I swear, I'll avenge your death. Did Cosmo write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's it's not quite like a stencil. I might have been thrown off by that letter, which looks like the corner of a <laughs> of a possible stencil, but no. Then I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Hmm. Is this gonna be a thing like, okay, the previous one had somebody had written out a combination or something, and then somebody else came and turned it into an English word by adding a couple of lines. Oh yeah, this is, this is, what's it gonna be like? First of all, is it something upside down? Maybe. I need you to judo chop me again. Like that that last digit or that last character could be a five and someone added a line. Right? It could end in like one one zero five. But then I don't know what the rest of it would be. Unless I wanted to go it's like, yeah, it's one 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 zero five. They just happen to be no. And I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Poor kazuma -sama. No doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. Suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments, was he? I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your writing. I don't think that's Japanese, Naruhodo-san. What? Th then what language is it? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Oh dear, that won't do. What's the matter, Susato-san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so fo focused I forget to look around properly. Oh yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard, are you, Naruhodo-san? I'm sure you're careful to look all around using B and M, aren't you? Now let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Yes! Let's do that. Suppose my field of vision has been rather small until now. This is... yes, it's a bell cord contraption, I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to summon servants. Really? It sounds almost magical. Shall we give it a little try? Yes! In the interest of cultural research, obviously. Ah, yes. Bun Bunka Benkyo. I suppose nobody comes for lowly Japanese people. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure it's just everyone's busy, that's all. 
Oh, you can get a little check mark. Okay. Vent. I think that's some sort of some kind of opening for a ventilator, a hole through which fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, it's a ventilator, if that's what it is. Looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Yes, it would appear to. You're right. But if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps it's so that rain and spray don't find their way in when the seas are rough, or something like that? I suppose. Maybe that's it. It's some two weeks since we set sail from Japan. Have you really been living in that wardrobe without showering the entire time, Naruhodo-san? <laughs> I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, no, I suppose not. Although it must have been rather exciting, making this voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in, so yes, I did basically have to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. But because of that, you had no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. No, sadly not. Seigi. The Japanese word for justice. The breast strokes are straight and true. Just like Kazuma. Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Yet, you... Can you really look at those characters without feeling shame, knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Of course I can. I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Unfortunately, looking at calligraphy and, and having a not guilty face, not admissible in court. Not under Japanese law. Even though you stowed away on this ship. Now you're gonna bring that up, are you? I can't win. Sword. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is his soul. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this trip. I suppose that just shows how important it was to him. And now he's gone, but I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. That's my dinner from last night. A roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But... Did you eat it on the floor here? I'm not a dog, Susaro-san. I ate at the table, of course. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. But Kazuma-sama didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Which meant all the more for me. Oh no, d does that mean... Poor Kazuma-sama spent his last night on Earth with an empty belly? It's just too horrible. Hidosugiru. Ugh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. And an achy, breaky heart. The table? Not suspicious. Oh, maybe a little bit? There's nothing on this table at all. The plate and cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still... No, wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I... I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. So... So then perhaps you are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-sama. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing was, it appears to have broken clean in two. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little Netsuke fastener from a kimono outfit. Not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around with him, would he? And the mark beside it. What is this, I wonder? It has a sort of brick-like hue. Yes, you're right. It is the color of brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin. <coughs> Perhaps.
Perhaps I should see what this Russian crewman makes of the scene. Um, excuse me. What? I... I was wondering how it's going. The investigation, I mean. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but he's not true, I see. Sorry? The criminal asking investigator for information about his crime. Very funny. Oh. It wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. He might have useful information, though. I have to keep trying. So, last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? Yet. Of course not. Now go back to corner of room and make silent. I see no more to you. Hmm, did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there, he seemed a little flustered. These are the rules of passage for travel aboard the SS Buria. It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers on board. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry, I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous object or a pet? <laughs> I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. Door? Door has hints? When I went for help and the crewman forced the door open, this bolt had been, had been firmly closed. It's quite a small bolt and not particularly sturdy. And it just slides across to sh secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there would be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. Vent! It's no wonder everyone suspects me. When she glares at me like that, I feel tense all up and down my spine. I remember reading once in a detective novel, the culprit used a needle and thread to draw a bolt across from outside the room in a situation like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detec detective stories myself. But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal and they seal together perfectly. There would be no possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. When she glares at me like that, I feel pins and needles all up and down my spine. <laughs> the books have fallen over on the shelf. Look, they've all toppled the same way. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he's fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mown down at once. Hmm, I see. So the ship hit, so hit a rough patch of water, the whole thing tilted, and he fell down and died. Reasonable. I wonder if perhaps it was Kazuma-sama doing his morning sword training, do you think? Seriously doubt it. Then perhaps it was you, Naruhodo-san, in a fit of rage. Haven't you ever seen the room? Tommy why so fucking that room up? I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books and a statue. Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder? Well, I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. Ruined. That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Memories? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought on I was brought on board inside that case. Ah yes, I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which in hindsight I should have realized the foreign crewman wouldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh dear. Being a stowaway isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well, it was less painful than a Susato takedown. Does it say this side up? I can't read it. This is where dear Kazuma-sama would have sat whenever he was writing. 
London Diary. Poor Cosma, he didn't even make it to his destination. It looks as though the last entry is incomplete. Which means, what? He was in the middle of writing it when the incident happened? The Black Beast of Arg. Let's see what it says. It could be a valuable clue. Hiya! Flip you. Flip you for real. That's out of the question. What? Cosmos may have departed this world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But what if it's something important? Something relevant to the case? All right, all right. I won't read it. Until your back is turned. Poor Kazuma-sama. I don't like prying into people's personal matters either, but in this case, isn't the need for clues more important? Uh, who's that? He wasn't there a minute ago. As far as I can tell, it looks like he might be European. Does he speak flu fluent European? Oh, how did he... You've noticed the man too, have you? I have no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. Um, can't see how tall he is while he's crouched on a desk. No, no, hold on. Don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? Uh, well, no. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. Something very unusual about him. And is he investigating Kazuma's desk, or is he just playing on it? I can't tell. Well, in that case, we simply must talk with him. Am I just imagining it, or does Susara sound like almost uncontrollably excited? By the way, I expect that you've noticed already, but just in case. Press space on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. Alright then, I'll get that suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do! More like, please don't. I'm gonna check something else. There is nothing else to check. Come on. Come on. Really? Okay. Nothing else. Um. Shitsureshimas. Shitsureshimas. Otaki mokunatsai. Do you have a moment? Shh. This is a critical point. This is a critical point in my investigation. Maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Greetings. I hope I haven't kept you for long. Egg. Um. What exactly were you doing on Kazuma's desk just now? Ah, uh, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry? What do you see? It feels like he's looking right through me. Oh yes, everything is clear now. The train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You! I've been in Afghanistan, I perceive, and returned. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, what? And now, whilst venturing toward foreign climes, you find yourself in a most troubling predicament. Oh, well, that's true, at least. But, but how? How the deuce did I know that? Perhaps. It was really a most elementary deduction, hardly worth explaining. <coughs> Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? Well, of course, a great many things. There is no mystery, my dear madam, for example. You have fled your native land of Russia, being, as you are, a merciless revolutionary. You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake, and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower! I would never blow up the Crystal Tower, that's where my friend is. 
And when the beribboned occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life too. Yes, I believe that summarizes the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now. Nothing deceives these eyes. Mm, just to be clear, you are talking about me, are you? Certainly I am. Do you see another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? I don't even see one person who fits the bill. Maybe you should try looking in a mirror, idiot. So it's true. It was you who did this to Kazuma-sama. What? And, and you're plotting a revolution, too. It's shameful behavior, Naruhodo-san. Absolutely wicked. No, listen. There's no way I... That was my last life. I guess I die. <laughs> now explain yourself. Tell me everything. It's ridiculous. How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forgive me. And as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head. Ah, uh, but was I not right? Whilst venturing toward foreign climes, you do find yourself in a most pre most troubling predicament, do you not? Well, yes, maybe. Ha! <laughs> there you have it, you see. What do you make of that? Hmm? Well, to be honest, this ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder, so I'm not really sure you could call it deduction. It's more plain observation. Indeed. And observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all deduction. My method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with a brassy certitude. More often than not, I'm right. 30% of the time, I'm right 100% of the time. I don't think you introduced yourself. Ah, my apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective in the country, known to men and women the world over. The inimitable Herlock Sholmes. So, it's really you? The actual Herlock Sholmes? The very same. The inimitable actual Sh Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> Do you know this man, Susato-san? The most famous detective in the world? Naruhodo-san, of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on, then? We must ask him what he's deduced. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? <laughs> have you managed to deduce anything about this particular case yet? Have I managed to deduce anything, my dear fellow? Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in his most cunning hiding place? That's right. It was none other than the great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Ah, I see. Uh, in other words... I'm in these now because of him. When I became anxious about Cosmo Summer this morning, I summoned all the crew members to force the cabin open. And I concealed myself among their number, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes. Luckily for everyone, the great detective Herlock Sholmes was on board. And the handcuffs seemed to be an excellent fit, Mr. Naruhodo. Arg! The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please, what two facts were apparent to you when you came into this cabin this morning? Ah, yes. But first, let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand. But what were they? Allow me to elucidate. 
The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape of the culprit out of the question. Number two, still holding up one finger, the victim was Russian and killed... F <laughs> the victim was Russian, all right. <laughs> the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Hold on, Mr. Sholmes. What made you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. That is the Russian word for wardrobe. Do, do you really think Kazuma Sama could have left a dying message in Russian? In their final moments, many find their native tongue filling their head. For this man, Russian. Kazuma was Russian, was he? Initially, I considered garderobe. Gar <laughs> Maybe the name of a the killer. A certain Robert Guard, perhaps. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there, at least. Where you found Mr. Narahodo sleeping soundly. Quite so. I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Why is it that I'm Russian too? <laughs> I observed that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, that outfit is the traditional dress of the Russian people. Our school uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I, I had no idea. And I had no idea a detective could get something so wrong. Took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze it for pos possible hidden clue, hidden hidden details. This, this was this was taken immediately after the young man was discovered before the body was removed. Yes, Kazuma had already been taken away when I woke up. Ow. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. Are you all right, Mr. Naruhodo? Oh, oh, um, yes, thank you. Photograph of the crime scene. The Russian word for wardrobe in purple ink. Can I ask you something, Mr. Sholmes? Let me look at this first. Looks like we can't flip it over. Oh, wait. Oh, it just turns it on and off. Very well. May I ask you something? What, pray? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all that? Ah, oh, yes. The train of reasoning that led me to the truth. Would you mind explaining that train of reasoning to me, do you think? Kolkliho. Certainly, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian, and I don't speak Russian. Um, can we talk about your deduction before? The things you concluded about me, I mean? Ah, the now famously accurate, troubling predicament you find yourself in. Uh, actually, it was the other detail I was more hoping to discuss. You know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of 16 part? Ah, yes. The more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... That's me! Revolutionary Vilian Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. This vessel made a port call with Shanghai yesterday, and last night the young, the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Kazuma a Russian? <laughs> it sounds like Mr. Shams has concluded he was Russian because of what Kazuma Sama wrote on the floor. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. 
One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you. Vilain Borshevik. No, no, no. How could it be me? I don't look anything like this man. Just look at his face. Well, you are a fearsome revolutionary, after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learnt to revolutionize your appearance as well. Ugh, please. And, I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? Well, it's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims of assassination and blowing up the Crystal Tower? Ah, oh, yes. The journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all those particulars in the article. The deeds the man has perpetrated thus far and those he is plotting. Yes. Everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? And what about the part where you said I was just returning from Afghanistan? Also, quite clearly stated here in the article. Bolshevik has recently returned after a period of subver subversive activities in the war-torn region of Afghanistan. Where even is it, anyway? This Afghanistan place. I don't know how to world. Here, take the paper for yourself as a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, thank you. I've absorbed all that is that is of interest to me within its pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. And you may find the article on the back page of interest as well. On the back? Cast your eye over it sometime if the interest takes you, though you may need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture or two. Oh, that old coloring book. I'm afraid I can't read a word of Russian. No, me neither. I have no idea what any of this says. The pair of you floundering is a sorry sight. Allow me to offer some assistance. The article on the front page of this newspaper is concerned with a fearsome Russian revolutionary. It reads, Revolutionary villain Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Yes, you told us that before. It reveals also that those who see the man's beard with their own eyes never live to tell the tale. Oh my goodness, he is fearsome. Well, presumably the newspaper photographer was alright, wasn't he? The solution is obvious, of course. If he despises his beard to that degree, he need only shave it off. I'm not quite sure that's the problem, Mr. Sholmes. Whoop! The Russian Queen? Hmm, this is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Naruhodo-san? Well, well, no. I, I mean, it looks like it might be interesting. I can't read a single word of it, I'm afraid. No, nor can I. But look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? She is very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, do you? Uh, I, I don't know, I can't make any sense of it. Ah, I'm glad you've noticed this article. Egg! Allow me to give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you. Pops up everywhere, this Mr. Sholmes. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novovich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlo Pavlova. <laughs> Why are Russian names so hard to remember? It would appear the woman was in costume. She was dressed like a dog? Of course she was. Was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room wearing the diamond tiara you see pictured, which is worth some 20,000 rubles. Oh. How much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea, but I'm quite sure it must be an unbelievable sum of money. So Sam's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. The tiara is the property of the Novovich Ballet. It would seem the director is beside herself with worry. 
Yes, I'm not surprised. The company is most anxious to recover both both Ms. Pavlova and the valuable Tiara. They've requested international assistance at all ports with sailings to Great Britain. Could this be another case of a Russian fleeing his or her country? It does seem to be the Russian thing to do. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Mr. Narahodo. So we have the front and back there. Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma? Ah, yes, the victim. Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Observe, for a moment, the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Cosmo was keeping notes of the trip. Ah, but... I don't think you should read his private writings. It could upset people. Tragic! And something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of reading. You, you mean you've read it already? It's my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, you're about to know what a Susato takedown is. Susato-san, aren't you going to throw the detective with one of your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, Naruto-san. What on earth do you mean? I so unfair. Anyway, to return to the matter of the ha at hand, namely, this diary belonging to the victim, it would appear the final sentence is incomplete, as if the author were cut short. Tell me, what is the nature of the writing? Pray, be precise as to the deta details. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese. A smattering, dear boy, a smattering. Only hiragana and katakana. Sayonara, bonsai, mikado... Nado, nado. I trust you're suitably impressed. Ha. This diary is littered with complicated-looking characters, of which I can read precisely nothing. <laughs> so it was all that showing off before, then. If you'd be so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it to you, Mr. Sholmes. I'm much obliged, my dear madam. My dear madam. The final entry here in Kazuma-sama's diary consists of just two short sentences. The first reads, 1.23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. A whistling sound? Hmm. These are very deep waters. Pray, go on. The second sentence reads, 1.35 a.m. What looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? What on earth does that mean? And actually, yeah, now now that I think about it, that is 100% a, uh, a Sherlock Holmes story where someone is bitten by a snake. Since they already showed the snake in the opening, that's not going to be... That's not going to be... Uh, like, that is... Is it? They said they couldn't find, find out the cause of death. Was he bitten by his... And they just completely lifted this entire mystery from a, a famous Sherlock Holmes story? I have no idea. I've never heard that expression before. Hmm. The ventilator grill, you say? The man was po presumably referring... To the lattice there on the wall, which connects to the adjoining cabin. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Cosmo's diary has been entered into the court record. Oh, that's it. But they said it was cut off. The sentence. The second sentence. So, you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? Indeed. I am none other than the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Oh, I see. You're... German? 
air lock, was it? No, no, I have no air. I mean, I have hair. Oh, wait, is hair? Making me doubt myself. Is the H silent? I thought it was. I feel like only English does stupid things like silent letters. It probably is hair. Hair. Now oh, it sounds so silly. I don't know. I mean, I have hair. Please, call me Shalooms. You can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh yes, Rand Magazine, full of wonderful short stories and interest articles from Great Britain. I never miss, miss an issue. I have it sent from England, especially. Ah, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Hold on. What language are they speaking? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Or maybe does he... Is it that he speaks Japanese but can't read it? Because <laughs> they just had somebody in the previous case who was like, Yeah, no, sorry, I don't, you know, they only speak English. That's weird that we've just hand-waved that. So you're the protagonist in a series of short stories, then. Indeed, I am. And you've read so many of your own stories, you've started to think you really are a detective. Make no mistake, I am not the poor, deluded fellow you take me for. Your inference is backward. Backward? My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in the magazine. You have a biographer, do you? Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson, presently keeping shop in London. Dr. Wilson? I must say, thanks to that publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. Why, this very moment I am returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning in its purest form. A, a science? Really? The astute observer notices even the most subtle of reactions in his subject. A furtive glance, a twitch of muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. But what if that just means that they're sitting in a broken chair? <laughs> Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrows in the skin, all these things are data. Right. And the trained log and the trained logician makes deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. The ultimate conclusion is without fail the truth. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago. How can you look me in the eye and claim that? So you see, I have a turn both for the for observation and for deduction and fame. That is what makes me the one and only Herr, no, Herlock Sholmes. So, I believe I've given you enough to consider for the time being, at least. Ah, do you have somewhere to go? As it happens, the victim's writings in his diary have piqued my interest. The matter warrants further investigation, I believe, and if I am still too long, the seasickness takes hold. Oh. Oh, if I am still for too long. Okay, I see. Oh, I suppose you're thinking of investigating the cabin next door, which the ventilator connects to. Great detectives are a curious breed. Our minds rebel at stagnation. We crave mental ex... <coughs> Mental exaltation. So, yes, I intend to investigate, hence the truth will become clear soon enough. Do you think perhaps we could go with you? Hmm. No, that would be somewhat complicated. What? But why? A single glance at your wrist should reveal the answer. Oh, these. 
After all, you're the prime suspect in this matter. No? There's no point trying to turn it into a question. You're the one who decided that I was the culprit in the first place. Whatever do you mean? I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. You must be joking. You, you just said it only a moment ago. Dear me, you're clearly misguided. I would have no cause to say such a thing. Well, actually, Mr. Sholmes, I did hear you say that too. You're quite sure. Well, that's very strange. I wouldn't have said you had the face of a criminal, you know. Not really. So what, were you looking at my knees before? Some great detective you are. Well, anyway. That was then, and this is now. What do you mean? What I mean, sir, is this. If you are the culprit, then you must play the part more convincingly. Roll over and accept your fate. <laughs> now he's just being plain rude. And off he goes, having just laughed in my face. His sense of humor is as twisted as his name. Narohodo-san, what are you just standing there for? Hmm? We must go and investigate the cabin next door as well. Aren't you forgetting something? What about these? There's no way I can... Hiya! After Kazuma Sama spent his dying moments struggling to leave us a clue, you're going to give up? You're just going to roll over and accept your fate? Ugh. As if you gave me any choice in the rolling over part. <laughs> I think we still have some investigation to finish off in here first, don't we? Let's carry on examining what we can in this cabin while we wait for a chance to slip next door. Good idea. The situation doesn't look good for me, but there are still things I can do to help myself. And I owe it to Kazuma to do everything I can to find a way out of this. And bring the real culprit to justice. Is that... Is something wrong, Naruhodo-san? Naruhodo. Naruhodo-san. I don't know. It's just that crewman standing by the door. I can't help feeling like I've seen him somewhere before. Oh, yes. You're right. He does look familiar. Excuse me, sir. Yes. What can I do for you? Oh, <laughs> it's the waiter. <laughs> I recognize that face, but but it can't be. <laughs> it is. I didn't know you were here, Inspector Hosonaga. Hello again. What are you doing here? I think that should be my line. I was so stunned when I saw you, my heart stopped. Nearly stopped, I hope. I received some special orders to go undercover as a member of the crew and board this ship. Again? You certainly seem to enjoy undercover work, Inspector. If there's anything I can do to help you, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board. But perhaps his presence can help me out of this hopeless situation. So what are your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed as a member of the crew? I'm so sorry. Hmm? This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. For, for what? My orders were to act as Asogi-san's bodyguard. <gasps> it was Minister of Justice Jigoku. Jigoku. Jigoku means hell. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I guess if you're the Minister of Justice, you're sending people to hell? Sure. Minister of Justice Jigoku, who 
pushed for this uh, overseas study tour to go ahead. And he entrusted me with ensuring that Asogi-san reach Great Britain without being assassinated. <laughs> Specifically, wow, assassinated? How could that even have been a possibility? I'm not sure. But these are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jigoku said we should be pre prepared for all eventualities. This is incredible. I don't believe it. Kazuma-sama was assassinated? Obviously, we couldn't give Asogi-san a visible security escort. Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. I see. And I didn't take my eyes off him the entire time we've been on board, from morning until night every day. <clears throat> but I never imagined it would happen here, inside his own cabin, not here on the first class deck. I failed miserably at my assignment, and Asogi-san is dead as a result. I'm a disgrace. All I can do is humbly apologize. Inspector. Oh. <clears throat> so if there's anything at all that I can do to help now, just say the word. We're doing what we can to investigate Cosma's death ourselves. I thought you might be. You didn't do it, did you? You're not the killer? Of course not. We'd really like to investigate the cabin next door. Yes. So we need to be allowed out of this cabin. I'm sorry. What? You've been deemed a risk to the ship's safety. If you moved to even touch the handle of the cabin door... That stormy-looking seaman there would surely snap your neck in two. I suppose I'm not just a stowaway now. They think I'm a murderer as well. Would it be possible to give me something to work with, do you think? I'm going to need something persuasive. What do you mean? If I had a solid reason why the next door cabin should be investigated, for example, I'd do everything I could to persuade the captain to allow it. Really, I'd lay my life on the line if I had to. But I don't see how... There may be a way. What? Really? Think of how you tried to persuade me of your innocence, Naruhoto-san, by presenting me with a piece of evidence that you already had in your possession. Evidence? It's just the same as when you're in court. You must have done it many times during your trial. Okay, yes. Dodoy. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Okay. All right, so there's something dangling from the grill. Can't present it from here. Like this. What's that? It's Kazuma's diary. Just before he died, Kazuma Sama wrote something rather strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? He wrote. What looks like some kind of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? That is strange. Yes, we're still trying to work out what he meant by that, but what I'd like to know is... Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? You're very astute, Inspector. That ventilator clearly joins to the next door cabin. That's right, so if we can investigate in there, we might be able to work out what the speckled band was. Alright then. I can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain has given me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime, you see. I'll have to entrust the investigation to you. 
Really? You're willing to do that? Yes. As long as you don't leave the first class cabin area. I'm afraid I can't remove those handcuffs, though. But what about the captain? Aren't you going against his direct orders? <clears throat> I'm a man of my word. And I promise you that I'll lay my life on the line if that's what it takes to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep Asugi-san safe. This is the least I can do. Thank you. Let's seize the moment then, Naruhodo-san. Select move, and we can leave this cabin. Oops. Take that. Inspector, can I show you this? What the? Is that a fabled Imperial Yumei University pin badge? Hmm. I'm not sure if it's really fabled exactly, but... <laughs> so, you're a genuine student, then. Sorry? Nothing like me with my regular schooling. You're something much greater. Is that what you were trying to say? Um, can I have my badge back, please? It's not a badge, it's a pin. Why did he call it a badge? 